Oh my gosh, my dog eat my wig. You can see the hairs through my mother freaking arm. It's so clear. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody sing that now, shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tay Pancakes, aka Taylor Stevens, aka Tay, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As y'all know, by my last video, we are on a journey of delusion, using law of assumption to manifest the life that we want. And one of the things that I'm delusional about is being able to lay a wig. Um, so... I am going to sit here and lay this wig with you. I just received my wig from XRS Beauty with their new clear lace 20 inch 200% density lace wig. And look at that lace. I'm gonna tell you something about clear lace. This clear lace is crazy. So this is transparent lace that, and this is clear lace. And when you put them up next to each other, they look like this. So what I'm going to do to show y'all the difference between a transparent lace and a clear lace is I'm going to put it on my arm so y'all can get a good visual representation of the difference. So I'm super excited to try their clear lace because every review that I've seen on their clear lace is just bomb y'all. Like bomb, bomb, bomb. All right, so first I'm gonna lay the transparent lace on my arm and y'all are gonna be able to see how that looks. Most lace these days is transparent lace. Okay, this is transparent lace. Y'all know transparent lace to be pretty transparent. But this is what the lace, but let me show y'all what this transparent lace looks like up next to the clear lace. Okay, so here we go. Clear lace onto the arm. Y'all, hold up. Y'all clearly see the difference. Clear, like clear as day, y'all see the difference. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of cast. Let's let this focus. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the clear lace. This is the transparent lace. You can see that the transparent lace is obviously very, you know, it's good. It's good, but it's thicker. It has more color to it, whereas the clear lace is literally clear. Like, come on, sis. Like, y'all see that? It's literally clear, like, literally. You can see the hairs through my mother freaking arm. It's so clear, like yes we love it yeah so the clear lace is there and you can barely see it and let me tell you something that's how i need my lace to lay that is how i need my lace to lay and when we put the wig on first of all let's talk about how they pluck this hairline like stop stop oh my gosh my dog eat my wig i'm so, I'm so sorry y'all so i have another i'm so sorry y'all so i have another wig that i have on before this one and i set it on the couch and i hear Smacking in the background, my dog is eating my wig. Oh my gosh, what is going on? But let's get into this hairline first before we uh completely lay it. So this hairline is insane. It's insanity, like they pre-plucked it. Y'all know every wig company pre-plucks wigs, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. How they pre-pluck this wig, you never can get wigs pre-plucked like this. They pre-pluck this wig so that way it melts into your skin flawlessly like and I love how they plucked it because I have like a far back hairline so um I don't need a wig cap when I put on wigs as you can see like the wig cap ain't gonna do nothing boo -boo. it's just not gonna do anything <laughs> but yes I love this look how natural they pluck like look how naturally they plucked it it's so pretty like the hair is so freaking soft y'all probably asking me why I shifted the pillows but I shifted the pillows to give it some sort of like dimension in between the black and you know, my hair. But yes, I love this. And this is the length. So I like the length. I needed a length that wasn't too long because I wanted it to give like natural, like silk press type vibes, even though my hair is not this long, but that's beside the point. Okay, so after completely living for this lace, we are going to go ahead and cut it and customize it. And yeah, I'm going to customize it with y'all. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using Wonder Lace Bond for my edges. It's a spray adhesive, just like got to be glued or, you know, your basics. So we're going to go ahead and spray this, not too close to the hairline, not too far. And we're going to rub it in. Um, so I try to let it dry um as best as I can get it to dry. And then, because I don't use a blow dryer or anything, I let it air dry. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. Um, we're doing this to get ready to flat iron it because I like to flat iron it on my head. I don't have a wig head or nothing like that. So here we go adding our second layer and we're going to rub that in a little bit and make sure that it's smeared all around so that way the wig is secure, baby. We don't want nothing coming off. Nobody snatching my wig. So yeah, um, if you're wondering why I'm dancing like this, my song was on. I was listening to her by Megan Thee Stallion. So you know, the vibes was there. The vibes was there. So we, after it gets tacky, I'm going to 
to take the wig and I'm going to put it and let it, you know, really adhere to my head. But look at that hairline, y'all. Like, come on, get into it. I cannot get over it. Like, they do such a good job with this hairline. So I cut it down the middle so that way I can, like, cut, um, what am I trying to say? Like, split cut it. So I'm cutting it down as close as possible to where the pre-plucking starts um, so that way I don't cut to get rid of the pre-plucking basically um and the one side of my head that's always smooth to do but once i get to the other side girl it be struggling y'all gonna see but look at that like please look at that look how like why am i awkwardly holding my arm like this it's something about cutting the other side of my head that just don't it just it just don't go well but we're gonna get it done anyway because we gotta do what we gotta do um as you can see like i don't always get the glue to go all the way down to my edges i mean to the side by my ear so I get any loose pieces and I spray um, to cover any loose pieces. And yeah, this is what we looking like. So I'm making my part right now. I couldn't decide between a middle part and a side part, but I'm more of a side part girl because my forehead wants it. Like my forehead likes side parts. So here we are with a side part. It's not like a too deep side part, but it's a good enough side part. So basically that's what I'm doing. You are gonna see me in a second, like try to experiment with a middle part and then get humble real quick. So I put it right back. Um, yeah, so we're going to go on with the hot comb and what the hot comb is going to do is it going, is it's going to make sure that the roots are laid, even though for some reason, y'all, this wig is laid very well, like very flat. Like sometimes when you get wigs, they end up being puffy up top. So you got to really, really, really go in with the hot comb. But I'm going to tell y'all something. This wig is surprisingly laid very well already. Like I'm hyping up this wig a lot, but I love an easy install wig because I'm not good. So I'm going in with some to come, with some concealer. Y'all probably thinking, Taylor, what are y'all, what are you doing? Girl, I don't know. So I went in with some concealer, but the concealer was way too light. So I basically had to finesse and get it to fix. So I kind of got it to fix. It still looks good. Still looks, you know, still looks fresh. Um, so here we are straightening it. So this is a straight wig, but as y'all know, anybody who wears wigs, even when you get a straight wig, it's going to have a little bump or something to it because of how they have to package it for traveling and all that stuff. Y'all, I'm so pressed over this music, so please excuse me. Like, I, I'm doing too much. Um, but yeah, so I'm um, just doing some final touches, making sure everything is good. And I went in lastly with this wax, and what I did was I put the wax on my fingers, and then I just wiped it on top to get the flyaways. And yeah, this is basically what she's looking like. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look of the wig. First of all, let me get into this. It was quick to lay. I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all know I'm not gonna land wigs, but this wig was quick to lay. I literally started laying this maybe like 15, 20 minutes ago and I'm done. And the only reason why it took me so long was because I messed up with the concealer and the parts and I had to like finesse it somehow. But yeah, it ended up really good. The hair is really soft. I love this hair, like, love it. Like, come on now, get into it, please, please. Um, So this is the hair from the back. Can y'all see? Can y'all, can y'all see? And here's the lace up close after being cut and, and altered and all that. So as you can see, that clear lace is lacing. It's lacing, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Like, it's really blending in with my skin. I don't even have a lace, I don't even have a wig cap on under here. Y'all know the girlies be trying to get the ball cap method going. Baby, you can lay this without the ball cap method, at least with my hairline. I'm not gonna say that because some people got low hairlines. And if you got low hairline, you're gonna have to use the ball cap method. But, no shade to the low hairline girlies. No shade. Just saying. But yeah, I love it. I feel like a baddie. Like, let me insert some baddie pictures. Yes, like, who? I'm slaying in the wig, like, come on. So yes, that is it for this video. Wig, this hair is bomb. All the links to this wig and all this details and all that will be in the description. It'll take you directly to the hair as well as the other clear lace wigs that they have on their page. Get into it. Like, clear lace, other lace. Clear lace, other lace. Clear lace, other lace. It's clearly no competition here. It's clearly no competition. Um, but yes, um, I'm enjoying this delusional series and the delusion is working because I told myself I could lay a wig and I laid this wig. Like, I can't, I don't care what nobody said. I told myself I could lay this wig and I laid this wig. I did. Like, for someone, y'all know what my wig laying skills is like. 
Y'all been here long enough. Like, come on, law of assumption, let's do it. I hope that y'all implementing y'all, um, I saw all of y'all delusions in my comments. I liked them, I was loving them, I was reading every single one of them. Um, if I miss any, I will go back and I will check. And I wanna make sure y'all are going on this journey with me. If you haven't seen my last video, go ahead and watch it. And we're all on this law of assumption journey, trying to basically fake it till we make it. And then when we make it, we are gonna look back and be like, I really did this by faking it. So yes, like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. I will see you next video. Bye.